seeing an optometrist for a person with diabetes is highly critical because vision loss is one of the most feared problems associated with diabetes, but also quite a common complication of diabetes. So seeing your optometrist, they're perfectly placed to examine the back of your eyes to pick up diabetic retinopathy. And the, the early detection of diabetic retinopathy is key to the prevention of vision loss. If we know it's there, then we can refer to an ophthalmologist for treatment at the correct time. If you wait until the point that you have vision changes, it's most likely to be either a little bit too late or too late to treat at all. So the minimum would be every two years, but that would be in a person with no risk factors for progression and no diabetic retinopathy at their last eye examination. Generally, it's one year if you have any risk factors like, uh, like blood pressure problems or poor blood glucose levels or you've had diabetic, diabetes for quite a while. The diabetes eye exam is quite lengthy, so we would look first of all at what they can read on the letter chart, that's called visual acuity, and make sure that that hasn't changed since the last eye examination or that the vision isn't reduced below what we'd expect. And if it is, then we do a refraction, which is where we test the spectacle prescription and see what the best, best corrected vision could be. We then measure the eye pressure to check that the eye pressure is not elevated because some forms of glaucoma are associated with diabetes. We'd also then check with a, an instrument called a slit lamp and have a look at the front part of the eye. And some of the complications associated with diabetes are cataracts and also a complication is where new vessels can grow on the coloured part of the eye called neovascularization of the iris and we look for those, those little tiny blood vessels on the front of the eye. We then put drops into the eyes to dilate the pupils. That's a really important part of the diabetes test because it gives us a much better view of the back of the eye and then we'd look for diabetic retinopathy and glaucoma which is also associated with diabetes. Well in Australia you don't need a referral to attend an optometrist under the Medicare scheme so uh, most people can, well, can just book their own appointment by calling up their local optometrist but it is quite common for a GP or an endocrinologist to refer to an optometrist for the eye examination portion of the diabetes care cycle. A person with diabetes when they come to their optometrist I think one of the key questions that they should ask is whether or not their pupils will be dilated. The benefits of having uh, the drops put in the eyes and the pupils enlarged is that the optometrist will get a much better view of the back of their eyes so it is a critical test to have done for every person with diabetes. Another question to ask is following the test did you find any diabetic retinopathy? It's important for the person with diabetes to understand what is going on with their eyes so that they can take charge of their own health care and understand uh, where, what stage their eyes are at. And the third question that I would suggest asking is what can I do to reduce the risk of either getting diabetic retinopathy or reducing the progression of any existing diabetic retinopathy? So my final message to any person living with diabetes is make that appointment with your optometrist today. It's easy to do, it's simple, painless and it's so important in terms of preventing future vision loss.